excited. This is fun. I just like hanging out with Shane. <laughs> this is crazy. This is amazing. I did not think this was real. I thought it was a joke email, but it was a real one. And now I showed up and I'm here and I'm in this warehouse and I'm wearing Michael Jackson's clothes and it's all happening. I guess we would be jumping in one? Um, like some kind of a scissoring situation, but like <laughs> not in a sexual way, like in an artistic way. Like we're gonna have fun with it. I'll count you guys off. One, two, three, and then we'll jump. We want to Jenna and Shane on our cover because they represent what a new breed of talent out there is doing. They're rivaling traditional celebrities for huge audiences, but they build it themselves online. And Jenna and Shane, people like them, they're, they're changing the system. Once I first got a YouTube check, I bought a camera because I was shooting everything on my computer. I was getting um, a lot of nasty comments on the internet that I should upgrade from the potato that I was shooting my videos on and I uh, got a camera. <laughs> Would you shoot this on a potato? I guess my first big purchase was I funded uh, my first like 25 minute short film. That was like $25,000 or something. That was a lot of money, but it was worth it, I think. Uh, my advice for aspiring YouTubers would probably be to be yourself and be consistent. Like don't be like, oh, today I wanna upload a video and then never come back for like three or four months. Like that doesn't really work. If you say, hey, I'm gonna do these types of videos every Saturday, do it. Even if you're getting no views, keep doing it because people like knowing they can come back on Saturdays and there'll be something there. Staying consistent and being yourself and interacting with your audience is very important to becoming, I don't know, good at YouTube. Make something that you actually enjoy because if you get successful, you're gonna have to make it every week and you don't wanna to wanna to kill yourself every time you make a video. I think it's getting into your, you know, what you guys, your characters are. Okay. <laughs> Social media has really um, kind of changed everything. I mean, before it was just making videos and hoping that people saw them. Twitter and Facebook and Instagram, all over that dick. All over that dick. It's cool because it makes the audience feel like they are your friend, which in turn makes them want to support you, and it makes them want to go see my movie and, and help me out. I think it's awesome. I kind of started in 2000 eight very open telling them everything about my life so it's too late to go back <laughs> i kind of lay it all out there they pretty much know everything about me except for you know all the really dark stuff that's good you're getting pissed at her that's great i try to keep it real and to try to just connect with people and make things on topics that i hope everyone can relate to at some point so i don't feel really weird talking about things all by myself. <laughs> I really like to connect to the audience and you know, talk about things that I'm dealing with or struggling with and try to do it in a funny way. And, and I think people just like to know that there's somebody out there who gets where they're coming from. I really like existing on the internet and uh, I like the community, I like the interaction of it because I like being my own boss. <laughs> <laughs> That's so great.